Is size actually important? Welcome back to Lustcast. I'm Tommy, and this week we're going to be talking about dicks. If you have one, you probably wonder what girls think of it and if they like it. So we're going to be talking about size, shape, color, the bend, you name it, we'll be talking about it. But before we get into that, please like, please share, please subscribe to the podcast. Okay, so helping me talk about dicks is two girls who have probably seen their fair share. That's Kiara Lord. Hey guys. And Shona River. Hello. (laughs) <laughs> so I feel bad introducing you both that way. Why? Just because it's kind of like one of those jokes that guys like might make about girls and then get a bad reaction from. Oh. But obviously I I'm the way I see it though is it's like your qualifications to be on the podcast. Yeah, we have a dick <laughs> diplomas me and yeah. <laughs> And it's, we're proud owners of our diploma. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because we are so-called experts and we actually don't have a dick. Yeah, yeah. but so it's funny. But it's, it's a bit like, paradox. you know, a doctor is, you know, he he might not have a vagina, but he would see a lot of vaginas. Exactly. You know, it's it's the observation. It's yeah. the yeah. collating of information. And a lot of times women want to go to a male gynecologist, not a female one. I've always wondered about the kind of man that decides... You know what I'm going to specialize in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? How, I think it's like family inheritance, sort of. Oh, yeah, like it's a yeah. title. You know? Yeah, you know, it or runs just, in the family. Yeah, or just, yeah, a virgin for too long. And, and yeah. they think maybe that would help. I actually heard that it's like one of the most interesting parts of medicine because... Mm-hmm. It combines some medicine with some surgery. Yeah. So for doctors that like need like more excitement, more <laughs> intellectual challenge, apparently it's like it doesn't get a better boring. Job. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's, but maybe that's just how they justify it. Like you know what I've heard that nowadays doctors, gynecologists, they uh, or OBGYN, they try to uh, they prefer cesarean nowadays. I guess they get paid more for that, right? It's just faster and it's more predictable rather than waiting for a baby to come out naturally. Just cut just cut them open and, you know, and you can go home and watch football. Slice them up. Yeah, just slice them up. <laughs> wow, scary. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, but that's what I read recently. But anyways, we probably know more about your dick mm-hmm. than you yourself. Yeah, well, this is what... I'm interested in is um I think like you, you're on Instagram you probably get so many messages from guys like either dick pics where they're mm-hmm. incredibly proud of their dick and want you to see it or you know guys just wondering like am I big am I small am I okay and just guys you've been with in your private life like how many of them have insecurities about their dick yeah I'm so glad that uh in Instagram, the pictures gets blurred, so I don't need to see them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, blocked my DMs in general because mm-hmm. I grew tired of it. But I would say um, 8 out of 10 would be definitely concerned, at least, about mm. their genitals. What do you think? Yeah, and sometimes I actually see people with STDs, and they have... <laughs> no idea they have an oh STD. Oh my god. Wow. They're what? just curious, like, Seriously? oh, is it big enough? Is it thick enough? Is it straight enough? I'm like, oh, you actually have herpes. Like, I would be more concerned about that. Yeah, Ooh. we'll definitely get into all this. It's going to be fun, I think. Holy fuck. But before we start talking about it, um, obviously, the podcast also goes on TikTok. And yes. TikTok doesn't like the word dick. So just to make editing a bit easier, can we refer to it as a sausage, man sausage, gentleman sausage, guy yes. sausage? Yes, no problem. So uh, <laughs> it's going to sound ridiculous. but No, but we will play by TikTok's rules. Yeah, you know, we, I've already been deleted once, so... Only once? Yeah, only one TikTok's ah, been deleted. Wow. Okay, so it's, it's just your videos that get deleted. Uh, no, the whole account got deleted. 
Yeah, but more and more your videos. Yeah. But then yeah. your account was okay, not too bad. Yeah. And um and the reason we're doing this episode is because I go into a bit of trouble for objectifying vaginas. Oh so my god. Objectifying Let's make women. It equal. Yeah, we're gonna even things up and objectify men a bit. And um No problem. By the end of this episode, maybe I'll be very insecure about <laughs> okay. I just one My question <laughs> are we gonna be hated on internet too after this no i think you can say whatever you like about just guys. embrace myself yeah you know? i think it's only like you know i think if it, things i say so only man with not so nice sausage will hate me so that's such a low percentage of the population so i don't care right <laughs> mm. we'll see we'll find out okay so let's find out what girls think about dicks. Okay, so like my first question is like, you know, let's tackle it head on. The one that guys are most insecure about, size. <laughs> so like, let's just break it down like bit by bit. And um, so just the first question, is size actually important? Yes. Yes. Wow, so it's just a lie online when people say that, don't they? Except, so like, lie. except if they're really, really small, then we say no. But that's, <laughs> a, that's a white lie. Yeah. So it, I, I always thought so. It's like Of course size matters. It's like for, for guys with like girls' boobs, it's like it doesn't matter. But yeah. it is fun when they're big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just more fun. It's just like an extra thing. Yeah. So, it's like, it doesn't mean like we wouldn't see someone that doesn't have huge boobs, but if they have huge boobs, it's like a, an extra. Yeah, just uh, a, a bonus. Is that what it's like for dicks? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who can sleep with girls with like small boobs, but he claims he can only be in love with girls with big tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very interesting that's, thing. That's so really it's interesting. Like is so that, many shades. Is that love or is that love? Attraction. You know. He claims in love, so he he can have lust for girls who have smaller boobs. But true love only comes with big tits. True love comes in big packages. It seems interesting. Well, so, I can I can I can say I've been in in love like crazy love with a small sausage man uh, and I managed to be with him for a couple of years together and I can tell you that if if you're madly in love with someone only then it does not matter uh, how uh. big of the D is otherwise no chance okay so like yeah. for a friend with benefits or one night stand you're looking for some size yes yes totally yes and also no why i yeah like but, but you're the, the size queen <laughs> <laughs> well let's say i would prefer bigger ones but the exception make the rule like say yeah, it right i think so so like i think two times in my life i was really have like strong attraction not love but attraction to two guys who were like quite small, but somehow it was just crazy chemistry and they managed to stay uh, hard for long enough and it worked. Okay, but so it's a bit like Kiara. It's like when you've got this passion, yeah. like when you really like someone, then the size doesn't matter. But yeah. generally for everyone else, it does. Yes. But I agree. I had the, that guy we spoke about earlier in another uh, episode. Uh, the one who actually cheated on me, mm -hmm. he had um, <clears throat> like significantly smaller uh, size than uh, average. <clears throat> and yet uh, I was really attracted to him for a few months. Mm. So I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, so it just seems like this like, ec like extreme lust or love or attraction can overcome the size issue. But you know what? There's um, there's a thing about big sizes. They really look good. Oh. They yeah. just look better on a man rather than uh, a tiny size. It's just it does. It looks better. 
I it think is, aesthetically. Is that, is that it looks masculine? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Very, very masculine. So would you say that if a guy does have a smaller penis, you think of him as like less manly? Yes. <laughs> it's so interesting like how it changed by time because when you see these like beautiful sculptures mm -hmm. with this like perfect body it's not yeah. a six pack it's like a 10 pack abs and you have these like teeny tiny penises i get that they are not yeah but it always erected. made me it always made me uncomfortable whenever i'm in but a they're museum so teeny tiny like and i'm like why is it so tiny? Well, the ancient Greeks felt that um, masculinity was, that a perfect penis was a small penis. Why? I would guess because society better was run by for, men back then. Ah. <laughs> and it's uh, better for Greek. Maybe it's easier yeah. to slip in. Greek wives were more like property, you ah, know. So maybe that's why they call it Greek. I don't think female pleasure was... Uh, a priority no definitely not yeah you're right so it's definitely aesthetically just uh, more pleasing to the eye i would say and it also demands respect is how i see it it demands respect it's like like the penis itself or it, it makes yeah. you do you respect a man with a big penis more Yes, I do. I don't know. It's just uh, my cave woman uh, uh -huh. instinct. It's like okay, okay. So either you have the big D or a big car, and oh, yeah, then you get the. But that, that definitely helps, you know. When you have a small D, you gotta make it up. Wow! And you know what? There is this phenomenon with guys <laughs> with big uh, wienerer and teeny tiny dog, and it's like such a funny thing. And then they always tell me like, "I have a big D, so I can have a tiny dog." I always feel oh. like that's just like guys who have inherited the tiny dog from like a, an ex-girlfriend or something. Wow. You know, I never understood the men with the tiny dogs, to be honest. I honestly think the main reason most men get a dog is to attract girls. So yeah, but it makes sense to get one that they like. Every porn star I know, like male porn star, they have this teeny tiny dog. Like Eric, guys, Eric Everhart, he has the tiny Pomeranian. But my personal preference is a big dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big dog. I'm sensing a theme, Kiara. <laughs> <laughs> big dog, big car, big uh, bank account, um, big sausage. So bigger is always better. Yes. Big smile. Mm. <laughs> big yeah. eyes. How about big teeth? Big teeth. Well, it's better than tiny teeth. Yeah, you don't have little baby teeth. Tic yeah. <laughs> no one's... Um, okay, so let's break this down. So, um, <laughs> it, it, obviously it seems size is important. So I get distracted. Important. So, is, is length important? Yes, 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 yes. For me, it's important because if it's too long, it can definitely hurt me. I'm quite short. But okay. I think you're different. No, actually the same when we talk about size, usually people are all like, they so concerned about the length, like how, how long is it? But actually what's more important is the thickness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, but when you, you generally speaking about like how big a dick is, you would just mean like the length. So if somebody has like a really long dick, but it's like really uh, not thick, thick then i feel pain it's like this and like it's useless stabby mm. stabby feeling pencil so, in a pencil case yeah i read about mm. this because yeah i understand so that's not good but uh it's better to have i would say like a medium size what's a medium length, size medium length with a medium let's, um, let's talk so what, numbers what's, what's, then like an actually really long what, one with a medium, medium size thing. yeah let's talk numbers what, what how long should a dick be so medium is like 15 centimeters average like it says like 13 up to like 15 16 that's like an average yeah let's say like size. 13 15 centimeters okay, so you're looking at five to six inches roughly um that's average that I sounds would say. average yeah and as for the width right so, so actually oh, we're just talking about length at the moment okay. So actually, like when it comes to size, like guys are obsessed with measuring how long they are. Yeah, but and not the thickness. You've both just said that you like big guys, but actually 
when it comes to length, which is what most guys measure, you actually like average. Well, you know, it can it like it can be eighteen centimeters, still fine, mm-hmm. but it can be as long as it is. Um, but the length doesn't add any pleasure. Uh, n- Depends. It only comes if, if it's thick. Then it's fine because it, yeah, so uh, the length itself it, uh, doesn't add but any you know, pleasure. You kind can, of the head part is thicker, control, then it's better. For you yeah. can control your dick. Doesn't matter the length. If it's like super long, you can still control how much you push inside mm-hmm. of it. So th- this is easily manageable. Yeah. So that's no problem. Yeah. But definitely it has to be at least 13 to 13 plus cent- centimeters. Because it so limits the, the positions. Like you can yeah. only yeah, that's true. do a missionary so, or, or a doggy if it's like really short. Yeah. So you're looking at at least five inches? Yes. Anything less than five inches? I mean, my uh, ex-boyfriend uh, had a way shorter sausage. Mm-hmm. And still, somehow, I managed to enjoy. So, but Like you said, you were in love and we established. I, I, I was so much in love yeah. that even if he had a pencil instead of his sausage, I think I would still enjoy it. Yeah, so that's a special case. A special case, but... but um, so most guys, so if you are like under five inches it's a worry i think you're gonna have to compensate you know, in some ways i think uh, under 10 10 centimeters it's very tricky seriously 10 centimeters four yeah inches. but it's only for us like we have like exceptionally high sex drive so an other for example another woman maybe like she would be happy to have sex once a week and she prefers for example oral sex so she would be totally fine with it. It's just like our personal preference. But we are porn Maybe. stars, so... Maybe, but I, I We would choose say our profession because we like sex and... I would say you're still people and you have like human bodies. There's yeah, probably that's, nothing that's like true. weird about you or unusual. It's just a job, right? Yeah. It's, if anything, it's just, it's just a, that you're it's more... It's just a job, but like... I believe we choose this job because we have high sex drive. Sure, we but have we like passion. We can't like for this. Like we wouldn't say like I don't know. I I just still think that like you're still going to know more about pleasure and what pleasures a woman yeah. just because you're just more in touch with your own bodies. But I'm sure other women will have the same experiences as you two. It's funny. We, there is this website, a girl knows. And actually, I feel when I am shooting a lesbian scene with a girl, I'm so unsure where to, what to do because it's just so complex. Just because I know what feels good for me, it's not, uh, it's not gonna be the same case for another person. And I feel like way more confident to touch a new dick. Because I, I I really know what a man wants, but I don't know what a woman wants. Maybe. It's like tremendous amount of communication before we start to do anything. I think men are simpler, but I'm we're getting really off topic. But like we discussed this on another episode where we just decided that just men won't tell you if you're doing a bad job. No one's going to say, actually, I don't like how you're sucking my dick. Mm. We're just going to lie down and just let you do your thing. Because like... You're sucking our dick. <laughs> so <laughs> That's nothing, good enough. nothing we're going to do is going to jeopardize that. <laughs> so, okay. So lengthwise, we... Yeah. So lengthwise, I think good. we've got sorted. And I've got to stop saying the D word. I'm not... I haven't yeah, said Yeah, you two it. have been really good, but I've been so bad it. at it. It's so hard not to say. Um, so then we're getting into like, this is, seems to be like what gives you the pleasure is the wits. Yeah. And I think the reason for that is that the bit where there's lots of nerves in the vagina is the walls of is, the vagina yeah yes. just the first four inches i think so like you say anything like around the five G-spot. inches up is fine mm-hmm. um so yeah so what how how wide should so how could we measure a sausage that? be um some people wouldn't measure the circumference circumference but some would measure um or like compare like the diameter Mm-hmm. It's easier to do with the diameter because actually the condoms are sized like that mm-hmm. with the diameter. So the average condom is like 52 millimeter. 52 uh, millimeters. Yeah. Okay, and there that, is this brand. So just um, so 52 millimeters is 
like what two inches oh that's quite yes. wide um you know i gotta say i thought the average condom was around 47 if i recall no so that's slightly under two inches but like the most basic you can buy in the yeah. supermarket they usually like 50 or okay 52 Just but there is this great brand the name is like my size yeah and the actually like, the biggest one is 69 but it sounds super sexy anyways right and that if somebody wears a 69 i know that's really thick yeah and it feels really good so uh um but that's interesting because like for me i figured latex stretches so it's maybe not yeah, that's a measure of the condom size not necessarily because mm -hmm. like 47 millimeters and 69 millimeters so I would it's say, not a big difference you know yeah but i would it's say a very small difference um how can i tell if i like the width of the d is that if in the very beginning it goes in slightly like harder you know oh like it, it won't go all the way in first thrust yeah because that then it's gonna be perfect mm -hmm. because if it goes in like super smooth in in the first you know movement yeah then it, it might not be the best yeah there's not be enough friction i guess so it has to be a little struggle in the beginning yeah it's it's a good feeling when it's actually like stretches you out right? yeah very like, good feeling yeah mm. when it takes a few minutes to like acclimatize uh, let's say yes so that's like a good um width i would say but um but if the girls say you know not so turned on then maybe that would Oh, then the it's uh, yeah, but then it's uh, painful. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it's painful. You have to be turned on, obviously. So uh, it's it's important. It's very important. <laughs> you look like you're having some memories there. I just it's just it's like nothing else. This feeling, right? Yeah. When a sausage enters you, it's like ah. <laughs> no, I always say this that like that. It's the same for guys. Like that first thrust yeah feels better than all the subsequent ones it's just like and your last whole body one. feels it yeah same for us it's like Good okay i'm home <laughs> tell me how do you feel about your wiener -er? um you know i i'm just someone that's never really cared i know it's really unusual but i've never been interested in measuring it like I always it, think that's a lie. No, because people I, I, just say it and don't want to tell no, me the exact number. Because you know what? I, I, I've never worried about things I can't control. Like, I, I worry about things I can control, but I don't worry about, you know, like my hair, I can change the color and cut it a different style. So I worry about, you know, my hair falling out and things like that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's something I can control. But, like, you know, oh, I worried about being too skinny because that's something I can control by, you know, yeah. motivating myself. Um, but things I can't control and never worried. So why do, why does the majority still, uh, worried about it? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it seems to be, you know, what it seems to be something people I do think worry it's, about. It's really like the biggest, um, question in general, like the most, uh, like frequently asked question am i good enough uh we yeah. wiener side uh, uh, the sex therapists i know nearly every one of their clients it's just insecurity around their penis um not necessarily the size but like worries about getting hard staying hard or the size um and that's just pretty much what they do all day is just and more they worry the about the more they are stressed and yeah. it's gonna be harder they, they, to maintain I think direction i want to give uh, an advice to our fellow man and is the following <laughs> you should be more worried about how you use your uh, little friend mm -hmm. rather than its size oh and the presentation we the like present. to s get served yeah. fresh well we're gonna get into that yeah um but let's go through bit by bit and, and yeah and like that is true but we've also established that girls do prefer more it seems at given least, a choice that's just choice. how it is yeah it's just how it is so we're just being honest let's yeah let's be honest let's 
tell the world as it really size is. Size matters. And yeah, I think maybe this is why guys are insecure because period. Yeah, but know, it doesn't. It doesn't talk. mean you're hopeless. It doesn't mean you're hopeless, but you know, it's like you know, I'm not seven foot tall, so I'm probably not going to be a great basketball you know, player. It's just being. <laughs> I just have to accept it, right? It's just being transparent. Like some foods you don't like as much as you like other foods. Mm. You and like the and and can guys be too big? Of course, no. <laughs> <laughs> can be, especially in the back door. You can be too. Uh, mm. My experience, if they don't try to push it in too deep, the thickness is always a good thing. Okay, but so for you, Tommy, does anything change like before porn and after porn? Uh, about your relationship with your D? Um, actually, no. No. Like, like relationships have changed, but not not my relationship with my sausage. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Still going strong? Yeah. I, I'm still me. I haven't changed. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I've changed in other ways, but not not that. Um, but yeah. If so anything, I've got more relaxed around sex and being naked. Like I, before, I'd be very shy being naked in front of a girl. So I'd like you know take clothes off together, you know. But you know, if I went to the We're like you first, yeah, like in the morning when you go to the bathroom, I'd hate like getting out of bed naked and going to the bathroom. Are you do it like in the movies when they pull the whole duvet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but, but I used to hate that. I just used to think like, oh god, I bet I look so stupid. But now I'm fine being naked. So that's the only thing that's changed. So you're gonna come to Torture Garden? <laughs> no, because I, I like I'm fine to be naked, but it's not like I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, maybe we get back in a few years. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see my progress. So definitely, for me, there is a thing too big. It is can you put so with length we established it that it's painful after a yeah. certain point, but with width, is there a point where like have you ever like gone home with a guy? pulled his pants down and just said like look no i can't do this no 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 that never happened oh, it okay. happened um in professional circumstances i mean i did not go home mm -hmm. but i was thinking ah oh, poor ass oh. did you do it yes yes but it just wasn't as pleasant as i wished and it's only for anal sex basically yeah uh i mean you know the thing is that Uh, there is, uh, I would say, too big of a D uh, that makes uh, my pussy sore afterwards. But then it was good during the action, so mm -hmm. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I had very painful one-time experience. Actually, two, because we shot two movies with a guy. And he was not super long or super thick. He was kind of like a, like a medium size. But it was just like so hard and he was Ooh. keep putting in a really weird angle where I mm -hmm. felt like he's just stubbing the side of uh -huh. my V. Okay. And it was like, I was just keep asking him not to do that. And he was just keep whispering to my Ugh. ear, but this is what I like. <laughs> oh, what And I that like was just like you. so painful. Jeez. And when I actually had a really big D, that was not painful at all. So when I'm turned on, my body is always just like adjusting to the D. But like only this two time was so mm. shitty with the bad angle. We, we need the name after the podcast. Yeah, or during. <laughs> Do you, you have the same experience like the, like the angle counts a lot? Of course. Yeah. yeah. And have you two ever broken up with a guy because he was too small or like not? seen someone because he was too small no 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 so that's interesting where you never like you know go home and then take the guy's pants off and you're like ah, disappointed oh i actually had this uh i took a guy home and i was super super horny and i saw he was like his d is really small no <laughs> and then he he couldn't get it up and i was a little bit like <laughs> and then I just like, put, a, put a dildo in his hand like please use this wisely <laughs> you and I had such a great time you in the end and I was actually him. 
Did you see Maybe him again? Maybe substances destroyed him. It was not me or just being tired. Have you ever laughed when you've... um? Because it's a surprise, right? Do you know if the guy's <laughs> big or small before you go no, home? You, you no, know. you know. I've I, 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 I actually know. like had a grinding on you on in the party. Like you actually like feel that he's hard. And if you, yeah, you are just if like... You're dancing, yeah kissing for like 50 minutes and you don't feel anything hard apart from his wallet mm-hmm. then then it's a bad sign and so have you ever laughed when you've done the reveal or i mean i laughed like... inside myself yeah but never to left or laugh left L- like ha 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 oh laugh no no but inside yes okay and what about because some guys, I think one of the big insecurities is that if you've been with a guy that's got a big sausage and he only has like a small or medium sausage, that maybe you're, you've been ruined. Like maybe you'll be too wide. You won't have fun with a smaller sausage. What do you think to that? Mm, it's not correct <laughs> I, I know that but. i mean guys think like oh my god there's like you can clap in i can i could clap inside you but like this all coming from their insecurity it's not true so yeah. it's like okay i can have uh, sex with a big dick and then the next day my 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 v just goes back to you know normal yeah. because it's a really stretchy thing like once upon a time or twice upon a time like we can there is like a baby going through that and then it goes back to normal so yeah. your giant d would not harm me <laughs> too much if you know what i mean yeah i know it's a complete myth but guys yeah. some guys really do it think it makes this. them feel better about yeah, yeah, themselves yeah, just like oh it's not my d is too small but i can clap inside you <laughs> so stupid very stupid yeah it's really not how things work but I do find that, like, say, if a girl hasn't had sex for, say, a few months, then it is a tighter fit, you know? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Whereas if, but not like, it's just like maybe that first couple of times and then yeah, you're like, agree, your bodies agree, are kind yeah. of like adjusted to each other. And you have to go through the web. The web? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it covered oh, in co- spider web? web? <laughs> <laughs> yeah (laughs) oh my god and um so it is is a lot of this size issue like mental because like you say you respect a guy that's bigger more (laughs) um so like maybe in a lot of times the guy just looks bigger because of perspective so like let's say the guy's above average Mm -hmm. but he's short and skinny then his sausage is going to look huge yeah and we do that in the porn industry a lot so like is a lot of it just maybe he's not bigger but you think he's bigger because of perspective it's all about the perspective and there are some guys with really small hands and that also makes your d look bigger in a small hand and there's actually like a a porn star and he's like second name is small hands i can't yeah 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 yeah. it's uh joanna angels uh, plus i think i feel like short guys uh like to uh starring in porn movies because they want to compensate something like okay i am short but like look at me but also it's um it's quite rare like really tall guys in porn yeah well for directors the whole thing is better because it gets easier to find like you know an above average penis on a short guy and it looks bigger yeah and then we also want short girls because it looks bigger like i made a video of a girl recently and she was like not tall but she was definitely not short and she had quite big hands and i was like oh where did it go <laughs> you know, it just looks so small yeah um, that's but, true and the same with mouth size as well like some girls just have a small mouth and it's like yeah yeah, yeah it looks so it weird. just looks better when you see the struggle so yes yeah, a perspective is a lot of it just how big it looks like if uh what are the things that make it look smaller so if a guy is fat it looks yeah. smaller if he's a bodybuilder it looks tiny but you know what there's a there's an exception there's a guy uh, uh he is 
he's like a humongous bodybuilder, like mm-hmm. extreme bodybuilder, but he still has a ginormous sausage. It's not a sausage, it's a salami. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, and he's like pumped as fuck. Who is that? <laughs> Hmm? Who is it? Is it the black guy? It's a client and it's a Caucasian man. Do you think oh. he's had um, fillers in his penis? No. It's natural. No, it's natural. Oh. There's always exceptions. And this, this man has a motorbike. Oh, yeah, I think. You know, <laughs> it's just something I showed Tommy. I'll show you too. Do you so, do it on the motorbike? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm hoping for a ride, but <laughs> so, but so, see, it's not necessarily true because he's like top of the bodybuilders, and yet salami, like horse salami. But if he was slimmer, it would look even, even bigger. bigger. Yeah, it's like what the hell? Go figure. But I guess. And what about fat guys? If a guy just loses weight, will it be bigger? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But fat guys is just really not good for your D. <laughs> it's a bit turn off and you have to move the tummy up. Oh. Yeah, you have to push back in order yeah. to access. So it almost turns into a clitoris. So you, so like you, you only see... <laughs> move the hood back <laughs> but you know yeah. uh, you you pretty much only see the head of it what yeah that's my recent experience from brussels mm. <laughs> yeah so you only see the head and it's like you know it's it's a challenge but because also there is this saying that under a big rock, there is a big snake. So it's a bit controversial. It can be... I've never seen a snake under a rock, so... <laughs> I, I, I have a few times. Really? But must... Okay, there are exceptions. But it sounds like if you just lose some weight, you can make your sausage bigger. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So that's good. And it's good for your health as well, so... Definitely. Maybe, yeah, definitely lose weight and yeah. less steroids, I think. Yeah. If you're a bodybuilder. But, yeah, you but in the beginning, steroids really help you. Do they? Yeah, because you're constantly hard. It's just enough to think about an orange and then you are hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but most. But body, when you, the problem is like the yeah. same with birth control when you stop it. So your yeah. body like stop producing testosterone. I love the hairy bananas. Oh, yeah, the cats have got it. <laughs> um, Okay, and I just want to say like a thing on making a sausage bigger. Oh, okay. Is there is no pill or exercise or anything you can do apart from surgery, which will make your sausage bigger. Yes. Just I know so many guys get scammed with like, oh, yeah. do these jelking exercises and but what about it will the, make it bigger. What about this pump uh, device? No, it's it all, doesn't work? They're all scams. Everything is a scam. Nothing. So, so what? The only thing that makes your... The pump is really like just temporary. It pumps the blood there. So it looks a bit thicker. But like after a few minutes, it goes away. Yeah, but it just no, no. But anyways, no. most people need for a few minutes, anyways. Yeah, that's why I was looking at you, you know. So, um, have you ever tried something like that, Tommy? No, when I, you were a I, teenager, I, I, you get a lot of ads. Of course but not. No. But like, how about your friends? And guys don't talk about stuff like that. No, it's so no. funny. Like, I do think we are more honest, like yeah. girls between each other. Like guys don't like <gasps> hang out and go like, oh, you know, I'm actually having a lot of insecurities about my sausage. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> like, like, yeah, me too. You know, we're not like that. Don't it's you like, compare your D's? No. Like when you go to the toilet, <laughs> no. you have to have your eyes forward. Yeah, but some people don't. <laughs> like in, in our friend groups, like we know who has like the giant ones, you know? How do you know? Like we're like had a look accidentally you know in the changing rooms or whatever accidentally and people get a reputation as well mm. so and plus also it's like part of being a wingman so like um <laughs> so for example the other day i was with a couple you know of, what you know what you are selling right like well, you that, need to no no like <laughs> so the other day i was with some friends and we were talking about um being a wingman and 
the, the two guys, they, they helped each other. So when one was with a girl, the other one came over and went, you have to look at his dick. You've got to see it. <laughs> and then left. But it got the girl thinking, you know. <laughs> so, what, it, um, what, what good does it do? Oh, it does good. It just gets her thinking. It gets her thinking like, oh, it must be something special. It must well, be. When I was a teenager, I was like 15, 16. I remember I was dating a guy and there was this conversation about like, oh, like how big is your dick? And then everybody was saying like, oh, my dick is such and such centimeter. And then everybody was, I remember said something about above 17. So like above average. And later I had a chance to sleep with my boyfriend's friend. Okay. But he was ex-boyfriend by then, whatever. And he was way smaller. And I remember, like, I was like, ooh, I remember he said that. And then yeah. I discovered, no, it's nothing like that. And also, like, when guys do measure, they can decide where they measure from. So you can, like... <laughs> yeah. They just, yeah. like, <laughs> stick it deep inside their stomach. Possibly. <laughs> You know, it's like, you can always be liberal. But yeah, no one ever, like, brags about having a small penis. And also when it's, like, really curvy, then you decide, like, okay, I'm going to measure, like, from here. And not, like, this one. Yeah, and and also just generally, like, how small is too small for a girl? With? Yeah. Mm, I'm I'm just struggling with the centimeters, but... You described it with a feeling before. That, so that, just, that's not enough. Like when it just goes in easily, it, you can still have fun with that? Yeah, you you can okay. still have fun, but it really depends on your mood. I mean, I'm speaking for myself. Mood, um, hormone levels, you know, and the attraction. So what's it like when it's too small? How do you know you're too small? When there's, I know, when uh, you don't have that first penetration, it's just like okay. are you in no i f- i can feel it but, but you know what when like- it's is it in fingers like one finger two finger it's like one finger too small for example yeah of yeah. course so then two fingers what? probably mm. not you know no two fingers is not enough but it's tricky because fingering does feel good so you yeah, just have to say. figure out like it's hard. I would say with a smaller, thinner dick, it's harder to hit the spot, but it's not impossible. So if they really find a good angle, it can be still good. And this is a, when somebody has a bit smaller dick, it's perfect time for anal, I would say. Oh. Uh, because yeah. for me, I would feel more in my ass. Uh huh. Yeah, that seems to be like a benefit of like not being too big, is you get more options. Yeah, but then with the you back are. Door. Or proud of yourself if you can get a bigger <laughs> one in. Because you respect him more as well. So it's more <laughs> like, like, okay. So, um, yeah, let's get into grooming. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And, oh no, we do, sh- yeah, no, we've got more si- size and shape stuff to do. Okay. So, yeah, I think the Ooh. first one is circumcision. I, I, like, I think it's good really yes genital mutilation is good i prefer circumcised sausages and why is that is that the look or is that the feel it's the hygiene hygiene okay i find men who are not circumcised are very bad at hygiene they don't know how to clean properly their uh, genital parts but mm, when it's circumcised. We don't need to clean it as you, much. You, you really... They're just as bad at taking care of it, but it's But it's easier. just cleaner. So I like it. I like uh, the look of it too. Aesthetically. So, but, you know, for me, both both uh, are good. Mm-hmm. But... Your preference is I, not the circumcised. But, you know, it's really only if I, I really had to choose, I would pick... The circumcised one? You wouldn't ask a guy to go get No, no, no. (laughs) No. (laughs) But I would say probably if it's your personal life and, you know, the guy is clean, then what would be the case? Would you uh, still choose the circumcised one for a long-term partner? I don't know. It, You know, it doesn't matter. When we take out, like, okay, he's clean, then after, do you have any preference? 
I can't say, you know, it doesn't matter in that case. It doesn't matter. For me, I like both, but yeah, it's a big issue being um, un unclean if you are um, not circumcised. But on the other hand, there are like pros when you are uh, just uncut. It's like easier to move the skin. Yeah, it's like less yeah. friction. It's easier to enter either your V or your A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard anal is easier with someone that's not circumcised. I don't yeah, know why. So there are like pros and cons. I think because it can move within the skin rather yeah, than friction helps. against your ass. So it's like... I don't, I don't know, but really it's, it's only because of the hygiene at this point. So the source of the problem is men do not pull back the skin whenever they are taking a shower. I think the problem... We learned oh, that when we're like, the first thing we learn to wash properly, you know? Okay, but I'm wondering sadly, what happens with those people who don't know this. So, but sadly, it's not what we experience and so they just stand in the shower and you know obviously it's not gonna clean itself mm -hmm. if it's closed basically so that's yeah, you, it you have yeah. to pull the foreskin back yeah you to, have to pull to the clean foreskin properly. and i think back. some people cannot pull the foreskin back well that's actually a condition so that's a condition that people would be circumcised for to fix yeah, the Yeah, but they don't even, the problem is they don't even know that they have a problem. Well, it should be spotted when they're children. So if it's, it's not, crazy it's, to me. it's bad. Um, it's a bad job by I'm the doctors. I'm wondering like who who is supposed to spot this? Uh, doctors and parents. Like you do get checked. As yeah. Children. Some parents are so like, they cannot talk about anything sexual yeah, or you so. Should, is you should go for like a, an STI test sometime in your life. You will experience problems down there and you will, the doctor will look at it at some point. So I think strange. like kids don't go to, uh, uh, what's the name in English for men's doctor, for a very long time till they don't have something like, they feel like their D is falling off. No, there's always reasons to go to the doctor. Like, it, Anyways. Yeah, it's just normal. And plus, like, parents should notice when they teach them how to wash it. If it doesn't go back, it's like, oh, we've got a problem here. So I will say it. My only problem is the hygiene with those who are not circumcised. That's it. So you don't have a preference, just the preference. I, I don't. But if I yeah. had to pick, I would pick the circumcised because I assume it's cleaner. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I pick the uncircumcised. Because Hoping the, it's clean. Hoping it's clean. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. And... So, and then I guess it's a good time to talk about hygiene. Very good time. It's always a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so are we talking about bad smells, I guess? Ooh. And build dairy, up. Dairy product, bad smell. Build up <laughs> build under up, the foreskin. Build up of what? Cottage Goop cheese. And, uh, and, and ooze and whatnot. Why? I don't know. And you know what? I'm lactose intolerant. I can't have <laughs> cheese. Blech. Like and there is, I was Spoiled thinking cheese. like, is this what common? is the perfect way to tell a man? And I'm like, I'm trying to create like jokes like that. Like, sorry, I can't have cheese. But uh, is this and like, there's no way of telling a man like, hey, you should wash your D. At this point, How I just. How common is this? It's quite common. I mean, it's more common than I would like it to be. You like, know? I, I always say, like, a lot of girls can't take care of yeah, their same, downstairs. Yeah, it's same, same here, um, too. But it's not so common. Uh, like, I mean, if it. Okay, it's if not. If I sense any bad smell, I just don't go down there. Um, yeah, but, you know, the thing is, I'm just going to demonstrate it to you. Whenever you go down, that's when you just pull the skin back, mm -hmm. and that's when you smell it. Because until then, it's pretty much trapped in there. Yeah. So, you know... In how, what percentage of guys are we talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I would say, like, very bad. Two out of ten. Wow, that's huge. This is what it is. And at this point... And it has, I, like, a buildup of, like, gunk? Yeah, like it, it's, it's just... Dirt, uh, or? I think it's... Um, how do you call the pre-cum? So oh. it's the pre-cum is just going down, going down under the foreskin and it just thickens up and, you know, uh, sweat, um, your just um, yeah, secretion, urine. stuff like that. 
And this is normal. I would say in my personal life, it's like way less common with like younger people. But when it comes to work, no, it, yeah, we, we are, are like, work. we are um, meeting people from all walks of life. So mm-hmm. it's like, uh, then we have like more problem. And I think older people have like worse hygiene and younger people have a bit better. Mm. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I, find, I always find like older men, like if I'm in a pub or something, it's usually the older guys that don't wash their hands when you they know, go to the toilet, for example. It's just, um, I would say it's like goes under the umbrella of grooming in general. When, uh, when you look at um, uh, male genitalia and it's, you can see it has never been touched or groomed. It's mm-hmm. full of hair. It's just all over the place. You have a good chance of meeting uh, the cheesy. Yeah, because they clearly don't care. Because because it's just it's like it's just too far away. You know, it's just whatever. Can you tell from how the guy looks that if he's going to be dirty down there? Like, I mean, you kind of. y- you y- yeah yeah. There are some clues. Yeah, I always look at hands, shoes. Who has dirty hands? Teeth. Everybody. What? Teeth is a really big pet peeve. When somebody has like a bad breath or problem with their teeth, I really can't stand that. Yeah, or so like there are dirt indicators. on their nails. Yeah. So if you don't care about other things. <laughs> and let's yeah. just not even mention the feet. Let's just not even go there. But yeah. mm, well, that oh, could I wanted be a to whole... mention feet because um, the only body part that correlates to penis size is the feet so oh, shoe, you, you, shoe size is an an indicator of um could be because my uh, ex uh, vietnamese he had uh a smaller feet than you do and <sighs> that perfectly matched his you know but like the the feet size is usually in connection with your height so when I, my my feet is i think uk size eight and european size 41 and everybody, oh my God, 41, that's so big. And I'm like, I'm one meter 75. So it's totally mm-hmm. normal to my height. And of yeah. course, when you are shorter, like 160, you're going to have a feet like 36, 37, 38. Yeah. So actually, if somebody is 39, but being 159, she's the one who is having a big feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's also about proportion. Like so many... I would think I don't have a really attractive petite feet, but I I have so many like feet movies during this five six it's years. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, you can you can have like hints uh, as for um, you know indicators, but um, definitely if you if you if you just have a glance at it, you know you can start worrying <laughs> or. Wait. And when you see like this cheesy sausage, um, what do you do? Yeah, like do, well, do you do you stop? Do I you, just, I just um, do you just have to deal with it? You know, of course, we all been through it. You know, in the beginning, we just basically swallow it. <sighs> but now I don't even think twice. I'm just very casually taking my baby wipe. And I'm just wiping it. Are you cleaning them for them? It's like part of the service. It's, I'm just cleaning it. And I'm not saying anything. I'm just cleaning it. Yeah. Like, like I usually say, special. could you please refresh a bit? Refresh. You know, the thing... <laughs> but then you know, they get offended like, but I already took a shower. <laughs> but it, it doesn't help, you know. Yeah, because the first they didn't know how to do it, so they get back, they get pissed at me for suggesting they are not clean, and they come back and I get the same result. So it's just better to wipe it. And how bad is it? It's like, very bad. It's like it, it makes it makes your gag reflex like on, you know, and like watery eyes because it's <laughs> yeah, it's very stinky. I mean, what do you expect? It's uh, it's disgusting. Yeah. It's it's pretty much, you know, I could compare it to like um, feces, you know, mm-hmm. like the level of disgustiveness. Actually, I don't care and put a condom over it, like how you put the trash in the Yeah, but how do you do uh, the trash BJ bag? Then? Oh, you do the BJ with a condom Yeah, on. I just put a condom on. Yeah. 
So I guess if like you see an escort and she insists on a condom for a <laughs> BJ, it's a good sign that you need to. I don't clean. know. I just, yeah, I just wipe them clean. More. I just wipe yeah. them clean. Yeah. Oh, I had a one um, one time when I tried to do that, and it was like not cheese. It was a stone. It was stone. And I try to take the <laughs> oh my god wipe, and I try to remove carefully it. remove it, and I wasn't able to, and it all started to bleeding, <laughs> and he was shouting. And oh my god! I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Where was this? Italy. <laughs> and even after that, he what? didn't understand there is like something so wrong and he was like cheese please combo. please stop torturing me ouch <laughs> this this hurts i'm like and then i'm just like so speechless like oh my god a crumble of cheese parmesan yeah i was like thinking like maybe we need to amput amputate this <laughs> you need to go to i don't know i can fix this <laughs> how do they not get infected you know? <laughs> It's so bad. Yeah. Oh my. And he started shouting at you. No, he was just not shouting at me, but just screaming from pain. <laughs> <laughs> and you? and I was like, be stop crying. <laughs> like, we have to remove it. Okay, probably I didn't say that, but I was thinking that. Yeah. Oh my. What the hell? How much of this, like, <laughs> stone was behind his foreskin is it like was it the size of like a what f was it size of like a seed or 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 like a no, like hazelnut or was it like a coating around the whole it's thing? a coating you know like because there's like usually like the a top, top it's like a, thicker like when you like when and the then the is. body is thinner and there is just some like edge so it's like and when an, it's an like apple is dipped in down. chocolate uh, no, it's like under the head there is this like dip and it's all filled with... I'm struggling, guys. Storm. I'm struggling. You should have taken photos and sent it to a doctor or something because like the medical world needs to see this. But the problem, a lot of times I meet with people who they don't speak English mm -hmm. and <laughs> if they don't have a common sense already, plus there is no language... And we can communicate. There is not so much thing I could do about it. Yeah, and like the guy presumably paid a lot of money for some, not enough for some time with you. <laughs> not enough. And, not enough. And you and you just not like enough. and you just like break out your builder's clothes and start like <laughs> chiseling away at this like. Yeah, maybe I should. I should go with like a mini sculpture. hammer. Yeah. Oh my god. That's yeah, horrible. but that's like not very. It's like it was super outrageous, so it doesn't happen every day. But like, he needs to go on that embarrassing bodies program, where people probably. have like strange. Okay, problems. so grooming, grooming, yeah. Any so obviously clean your mm. penis. So pull the foreskin back and clean properly. Yeah. Use intimate wash or soap if you are not soap sensitive. Fine. I mean, if you're not yeah. sensitive, soap's fine. I think the penis is less and, sensitive and than do, vaginas. And also, uh, please wash your uh, anuses. Oh, my God. Just wash the anus, too. And I suggest um, double cleansing. like Double wash. Double wash. Like, you think you're done? Just do it one more time. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure and dry it properly. Because mm -hmm. when it, you keep, it stays wet... That's bad. That's bad. You have to dry properly. Mm. Plus, remove the... I would suggest for people, especially who like rim job, they need to remove the hair. Oh, There's no way they're going to be clean if they don't remove the hair. Well, this, this is the thing about grooming, because it's difficult for men, because like some men are hairier than others. And yeah. it's like, what style of grooming do girls like to see like the way i do it i'm not super hairy mm -hmm. but like i trim the bit above mm -hmm. to like a very short length okay but then i find it looks weird for like you know the bit of hair that goes from your belly button down mm -hmm. so i shave that just so it doesn't look weird to have this line joining. the line is fine i find the line looks a bit weird once you trim okay and then 
it looks weird because like the hair goes right to the top you know, of your leg. So the thing so then is, I, I have to shave like I, the top inside of my legs and then my balls as well. And then also, I crack. think if it's just, you know, like if you never groom it, it's not good. Like way too long pubic hair is, uh, it really hurts the process of giving pleasure. Mm -hmm. It constantly gets in between my teeth or on my tongue, or I can feel it at the back of my throat. And again, I, I no longer feel embarrassed about it. I just stop and I take it out. And so that they can see it, you know, but also it's annoying. And they would be like, oh, what, what, what happened? Or what's that? I'm like, hair, you know, hair. So, um, and I find it that it's the balls that shed mm -hmm. the most hair. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. I, I just shave my balls. Just not, shave the balls. The Really, the it's, top yeah. I just trim. It's not because yeah, trimming is, you good. know, I wouldn't say we are picky or we are, you know, like whatever. You can look however you want. It's just if it's way too hairy, it's impossible to give a proper BJ and, and stuff. it looks smaller, I guess. Yeah, also that. And, and when it's too big, some things m might move in. <laughs> Crabs. Yeah, or oh. li lies, or I don't know, anything can disappear. So, you know, like it's maybe just, a chewing gum or. I don't like when it's completely shaved because it looks like a boy. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna shaving ask you is that. not good. Like, Plus, it's really spiky because men usually have really strong hair. Mm -hmm. It's not there, good. And then it's just like painful. It's like hurts my, you know. my V when it's like rubbing on top. Yeah, so, and it, it looks just stupid if it's like fully shaved and yeah. then and then it gets like bumpy and stuff. It just looks really juvenile. Sometimes when I'm shaving, um, the because it has like different lengths for yeah, the shave Yeah, that's what I you use. have to do. It, if I do it wrong and it just press it, presses in too much and goes on to the shortest length and i'm like oh shit yeah you and then like once like some of it's gone it's like okay i gotta take the rest of it off but it <laughs> looks so bad i look down and i'm like oh i look like a 10 year old so i would say trimming that's trimming. that's the best you can do you got to shave the balls i think shave, shave the, the balls shave and, the balls yeah and if you're hairy at the top of the around. legs you have to shave around that area and yeah. as preferably and between like, the ass shave it anus, for hygiene if, if possible mm. so you but don't shave it completely it looks very stupid very bad like just juvenile af okay and like just while we're on hygiene like you said that you can spot when someone has an sti like herpes yeah but yeah. it's easy you spot sometimes like you, you see this dicks in like rush and they're like hpv yeah, uh, HPV, you can see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's if really you bad. have spots or rashes, you really should be getting it checked out, right? Yeah. And guys don't. They just show up. What do you do? Just send them home, or? Uh, well, because I have herpes. Yeah, it's not a worry. I, I, for uh, I, I don't mind it. I feel like uh, I, I must have met people with herpes. And I think I am immune to that because yeah, I never just don't had. Have so yeah, 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 yeah. Like I don't have symptoms. Also, yeah, like we like HPV. Like so many people have it, and I also get the injection. Yeah. Against that. Me too. So these are. Yeah, it's just like so common. Like I mean, if someone would show up with a green leaking something out of their, oh, yeah. you know, urethra, then would kindly send them home. Yeah, yeah. And to the doctor, but... But generally, because, yeah, because you can, like, as a guy, sometimes you just get a random spot on your sausage. Yeah. And um, it's just a spot, like acne, the same yeah, as on your can, face. Yeah, you can, or, like, ingrown hair or whatever, but... But is it best to, like, explain that to the girl or just pretend it doesn't exist? Uh, hmm. I feel really uncomfortable when I spot something... Mm -hmm. but I feel like it should not be there. And then when somebody just trying to mansplain it to me, I'm oh, like, yeah. 
why you have something and you try to tell me it's nothing and I feel really uncomfortable yeah, yeah. and I just usually then don't uh, go further and I'm say I'm saying sorry we cannot do that because it's better safe than sorry exactly. maybe it was an ingrown hair maybe mm -hmm. it's not uh, but it's better just to don't risk it yeah before uh, I started using like the electric safe. shaver I used mm -hmm. to get ingrown hairs but yeah, no, but really, no. just please, no, no, no shaving, guys. No mm -hmm. exposed, like bare skin. Please, no. Just the balls. Just the balls. Okay. Yeah, yeah just the balls. Um, and yeah, just while we're on, on the balls, mm -hmm. um, how do you like balls to look? Uh, Is there like I like slim fit, but they're you, not so hanging. Well, that just depends on temperature, right? Like, or if the guy's turned on, then the scrotum pulls up. them up. Yeah. But if it's hot and he's not turned on, then they dangle. Because that, that's just how the sack's made to, like, keep them warm. Got to keep them toasty. My preference <laughs> for uh, balls, it's, it, it really doesn't matter how they look. It's just, it's more how they smell. Because... Uh, balls smell? Yeah, everything smells. No, but the balls, the balls... Uh, smell incredibly strong sometimes but surely you he can has... smell the cum you can smell the cum what? by smelling the balls what's he I'm talking not about sure about that but i think it's connection again with the hair smell it's like through the skin harder yeah. to no. when you when you leave the hair there so then the the balls gonna have a, like a stronger smell i i, I think all balls, even the shaved ones or the wax ones, they always have the smell of cum, the balls. Are you sure you're not just talking about like sweat smell? Like maybe no, people it's not the clean balls. and they're sweaty? It's, it's the fucking balls, I'm telling you. So I'm not like a huge fan of balls, to be honest. Is it just me? Sometimes I feel like male genitals smells like truffle. Is it just me? I like truffle. I mean, I like truffle, but it's really disturbing. So yeah, when guys, I I'm, I'm the kind of person the I smell. I don't know how truffle smells like. Okay. I I mean, it, maybe I just don't feel it. The truffle. And are you sure balls smell like semen? Because yes. maybe it's just like psychological. And I can predict, you know it's And I I will already know what his cum will taste and smell like by just smelling the balls. And some smell very strong. So then I prefer not to come yeah. near to my face. It's quite a div big difference. I think they some people smell like truffle and you're like, they smell like cum. That's amazing that you can smell through scrotum. I think it's, you know, for me, I honestly get the feeling like, you know, it's like, is it leaking somewhere? <laughs> and... and do you find any <laughs> patterns with like, if does a guy that has bigger balls, does he have like a higher sex drive or lower sex drive? Do guys have small balls? No. And they're no. Feminine? But I, I kind of like the big balls because whenever you have the intercourse, it's so funny how it it's like, like slapping your ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. And I'm like, doesn't it hurt? And do you respect people with bigger balls more? Or is it not <laughs> the same matter. as... Doesn't no, matter. no, it doesn't you matter. You just like the slapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is it do, do men think like they're more, more manly with bigger balls? Well, it's a it's just a saying, isn't it? That if you're brave, you're like you big have balls. big balls. But I don't think it actually means, you know, that they're big. I don't, I don't know. It's like more virile, more... I remember watching Sex and the City and there was an episode like uh, there was one guy, somebody's boyfriend and had, um, how do you say, ball cancer? Testicular cancer, yeah. Yeah, that one. And he was like uh, picking like silicone or plastic ones mm -hmm. and he wanted to like, oh, I want to get the big one. And then hmm. his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend was like, oh, I don't, I think you are more like a medium. And then he got so disappointed, like, oh, I thought I am kind of like a big medium at least. But I don't know if it's for, for everybody or are they just more concerned about the D size, but the balls are. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never, 
this is the first time I've thought about it so much, really. And is there anything else about balls? I like to that... play with them, just like... Yeah, well, some girls are really into Not balls. like really like a stress, using them as a stress ball, because <laughs> I know it's like quite a sensitive thing. But like, I like to have one on this finger and the other, and then like... <laughs> I've had <laughs> girls that are just very into my balls, and they'll just spend <laughs> as long as I want with them just licking my balls. But I like and to play with really like kind it. of after sex, you know, like watching Netflix, just a kind of like. I don't. I'm not like a big fan of balls. I think it, they are quite hard to approach as well, like very uncomfortable, you know. So, <laughs> like uncomfortable to put your head, like, you know. So, eh, meh. I'll, I'll pass on the balls any day. Okay. And um, another thing about how penises look. <laughs> sorry. Another thing about how sausages look is veins. Yeah. I feel Ooh. like <laughs> veins can make something look quite beastly, you know? So, but what do girls like? Do they like the kind of like smooth, veinless sausage? Or do they like the kind of beasty ones? Mm. I've seen it more with dildos that they have like that beast. Yeah. Of, like, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if like sausages like that exist in the wild. Shona, or what's your take on it? Um, there's no preference for this. I, I like the, the smooth ones. ones. You like the veiny ones. ones as well. I mean, yeah, uh, can go both ways, but I like veiny ones because it's like so masculine, it's going to explode. Yeah, but definitely you have the impression it's like strong. It's like if like, somebody is like have really strong yeah. arms and you have the veins. It's just like... Do you full of testosterone? Do you feel the veins? Is it like a texture thing, or it's just just purely visual? Well, you can feel the veins, like if you do a BJ. Okay. But uh, in your hoo ha, you will not. <laughs> 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 no, but I like it. It looks great. Okay, so I w I w thought maybe the veiny one is like not so good. But, oh, so veiny is good. just uh, very That's good. Another problem. And. Uh, <laughs> And what about scars and things like that? Does that add to the masculinity? Like, oh, it's hot. This, yeah. This really. Mm -hmm. This um, like on the D or just scars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the this D. sausage is like you know, seen like, some action. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, a real survivor. <laughs> so like of scars from circumcision or from like a sharp teeth? Like which scar are you? No, like a is fight. There? Or like a dog bite. A dog biting your balls? It? Have you seen a guy with... <laughs> okay, I've we seen like, story. I've, I've seen um, guys who had to have surgery on their balls mm -hmm. and like remove one of the balls and, you know, things like that. And you can see very well the scarring. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but it still functions. It's still going strong. So it's like, that's my man. You know, people that have had like um, genital warts and have them frozen off, things like that, they have some scars. Awesome. So You're like cool that. for freezing them off. So, yeah, so scars are good. So scars you, are good. I don't some, mind. If you have some scars on your ding dong. I love it. Show ding me dong. and tell the story. You know, it's like a good story. Tell the story. It's a good conversation in bed. Well, make so up a good story So how did you get your scar? <laughs> Because I, I have a I scar, guys, I have a scar on my left butt cheek because I had like a thingy they had to operate out. So now I have quite a significant scar on my butt cheek. Good. You know? Good to know. I never saw that. I, I need to take a look. Yeah, you need yeah. to take a better look. It's quite big. Last thing about what makes a sausage that girls like is like the color of it because mm, yeah, it's really color. interesting that like the genital area of a man goes a darker color yeah. than the rest of him yeah during Sometimes. puberty no no i mean puberty that's puberty. what should happen it should go darker yeah um i've just been on holiday now so i, I kind of <laughs> i'm a, i feel a bit stupid because i was in the sun <laughs> quite a lot and i'm normally like milk white yeah and like this is about as brown as i go but it's significantly different to, like my genital area i can imagine like when i take my shorts off i'm like oh this looks Bit stupid. So, so you were thinking of visiting the tanning beds for work yeah for work yeah for work. Like, but so, even my private life it must look a bit weird for girls when they like take that off and it's like oh he's like 
milky white under here compared to the rest of her. But your genital is never going to be as tanned if you are not. Yeah, tanning naked. Yeah. So. And there are some guys who are like, we have really light skin. Plus, like, when they get hard, it's just going to be red. And you can, like, kind of see the I will tell you my through. favorite kind. I, okay. li- I like the these with the vitiligo. When What's it's, that? like, spotty. I mean, it's like a cow's oh, skin. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it has, like, white patches, was... then it's dark. Then it has white patches, then it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to say, because, like, <gasps> a, some people would say, would be maybe insecure that, you know, that they've got... I love a this skin kind. Condition or... It's a, you know, it's, like, um, spotty. I like it. Very extraordinary. It's, like, multicolored, basically. But, uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. You have any color preference, Shona? I like darker a bit, but it's like based on the people. I would say generally I like darker, but it's always if, if somebody has light skin and something sometimes can be like super pinkish and sometimes just white or like a uh, little bit tan. It's always based on the the individual. But we we yeah. So the colors not so important really. No, but it's a little bit. Sometimes it's funny when you when there is a guy who's like super white, but somehow his genital area is like super yeah. dark. It's yeah. always like oh wow, this was uh, unexpected. Yeah, because it's but it's also not a Asians problem. have a very dark. Yeah, uh, melanin is so. such an interesting thing because yeah. yeah, I've seen that in porn. There's I can't remember his name, but there's a guy that. He's white, but he has like a black penis. Yeah, and, and sometimes like, you see this close yeah. up in porn and then the camera is just like going further. And I was like, oh my God, this is a white guy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I see that coming. So how about uh, talking uh, about the shape? Yeah, shape is, in, is we so haven't guys, thought of that. I, I found out something recently. Okay. And that is that really uh, you know like ugly shaped uh sausages turn me on so much what's an ugly <laughs> shaped sausage where you don't don't really understand what the hell is that you know what? it's just it's like a, this is the beginning of it and it's coming like like in this shape yeah uh, <laughs> and, and like, like an ice cream cone yeah but also like the, the top is like super bulky, very heavy. It's like a mushroom. It's like a mushroom. <laughs> so I like, I like, uh, ex- yeah, and the top part. You know, like, kind of um, like atypical shapes. I like, you know, it's almost like. But it sounds like you've seen the head needs to be like bigger than the body. It feels right. It, it's good it, for the juice bar, I would say. So it's just incredible how some sausages can look so uh, like out of the ordinary. And it's just amazing. It makes me feel like they are the last caveman. Mm-hmm. Like their thing they go hunting with, the... the stick, not the stick. So the more ugly it is, the more masculine it is. Yeah, just... Just rough looking D. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, visually, I don't have a preference like I, that. Okay, and then it's, it's um, when it actually goes in, then I was like, oh, this feels good. Or, oh, this doesn't feel that good. But like, it's hard to decide before it goes in. Well, you but can Visually, decide. it's not a turn on there's for one, me. There's one time when you can, you know, it's not going to be good if... It's like a, it's a tap. Oh. Yeah, the tap dick. Oh, actually, yeah, I was going to say about the curve because, like, in my private life, I've had quite a lot of compliments for the curve. But wait a second, there is this this kind of curve, and then it, it, this, this was curving up. Most people should curve up. That's good. Yeah, that's like, a we good are talking line. about the other way around. And then also, I think something like ninety percent of men curve to the left. And Mm because we have mm -hmm. to tuck it one way or the other. I think over time it goes left or right. That's fine. Most people hang left or right. But really, the the tap curve is not good. But does that just mean you have to reverse your positions? Like do reverse? It just means it's not gonna work between us. 
Really? On a long term, yeah. And why is that? Is it painful or is it just no feeling? I or? don't like the way it looks. I, it's very... Uh, it's not easy to give a BJ. Really? No. Actually, it's easier if it's goes like this. I Because it's going more I like... I don't know. I feel like yeah. it, it just want to like hang on to my bottom teeth, you know? <laughs> Actually, I do think it's easier for blowjob. But my favorite position is missionary. But I can spend hours, days, months, years in. No, I don't like the tap. And then curve. it's better to go up. Yeah, we're curving up, yeah. then it should then it's hit good. the T-spot in missionary, right? Yeah, but the, yeah, but we're talking about the tap. And how much of a curve is, can there be too much of a curve? Like, can it end up like doubling back on itself or something? So like, this is too much of a curve, okay? And do some people like that? <laughs> I don't know. I um, I don't. You haven't seen one like that, so they probably don't no exist, this so. much of a curve no. no. So too much of a curve doesn't. But like, this is good. <laughs> this is like a good, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> so your curve is going up. Tommy. That's good. So you're not. Yeah, a my tap. goes up and to the left. You're not yeah. a tap. No, I'm not a tap. I, I <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we can't be friends with you if you're a tap. So you, yeah. it's better you tell us now. <laughs> well, haven't you kidding. seen Tommy's porn? No. Ah. I never shot with Tommy and I have never seen... You don't have to it's in on, order to see it. It's on Google. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've I'm seen I'm not it. searching. No, but I just, I just seen it somehow because I went on your website. So I know. It's there. It's not a tap. So that's true. And um, is there anything else about curve or shape that needs mm. to be said? Like, maybe the head. Like, part. I don't like, like so it, much when it's more like a carrot. It's like really yeah, thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or thick at the base. And, and then, then it's like the so pointy because then it's a <laughs> it's bit. really like a carrot. Yeah. Yeah. It's so not you like a, the inverted pyramid, basically? Yes. Yeah, it feels better. <clears throat> Definitely. And with the head, the head needs to be bigger than the shaft? Or what if it's smaller? Does the head matter? Yes. Yes, it does. It does. It's actually, I think it's really important. It's very important, the head. What do you like in a head? I like when it's the head is thicker a bit than yeah. the body. Yeah. Because it just feels good. It's like, it's like you know, when they, they try to ball? imitate with the <laughs> condoms that they are uh, ripped. ripped. There's a, mm -hmm. But then on the condom, it doesn't feel so much. It's more like it's like scratching me inside. But for a dick, it's just like a good feeling. It's more sensation. And I, I like it big Mentagy. because the texture of the head is very, very smooth. It's very, uh, okay. very pleasant. So the bigger, the better. The bulkier, the better. So more head. Yeah. More head. Just, better. Yeah. And if a guy has a small head, it's a problem or just like... Not no, it's not a problem, but you know... It still works. But, you know, it, they differ so much. Like, some heads are super smooth, like, almost like, you know, like, octopus skin, like... Has an octopus. You never touched an octopus? Yeah, well, even no, when you I eat always it, you do. just stick it on it's, my fork you know, and specific, swallow it. Very <laughs> nice. But some heads are very dry and wrinkly, you know? Oh, like, like need moisturizing. Yeah, like your fingers when you stay too long in the bath. And it even feels oh. bad in the mouth. It's just like, so, so <laughs> dry. It's so funny, like how men think, like you always see like a lotion next to their bed and like, this is how they masturbate with just like some lotion. And then they just like, some of them think it's going to be good for uh, an intercourse, the moisturizer oh. and like, fuck. F word, you cannot put no. that on my no. P. No. <laughs> yeah, no, but... That's not smart. Um, so, what else? It's just... Well, I've gone through all of my visual points. Yeah, I'm just uh, thinking, uh, what else? Dicks... Oh, sorry. Um, sausages differ a lot. It seems like that. I think sausages differ a lot more than potatoes so how many sausages have you seen in your life oh can i count watching porn or is it just like yes of course like Tell us oh, both. It's probably four digits 
So thousands. Yeah, thousands of. Yeah, if I like, if I can count, just like watching a movie. Or How many if it's just in person? It would be hard to say. Minimum three digits, but I think probably four digits. But I <laughs> cannot be more specific. So maybe a thousand. Than that. <laughs> yeah. And I find, um, but definitely less than ten thousand. Oh, less. Okay. How about you, Kiara? Same. Same, but I find it fascinating that we get to see so many different kinds of these. It's just a never-ending exploration of the human body. Do you have a favorite sausage of all time? Um, I have a few, but um, every now and then it comes across the type, the kind of sausage I like, and then it's just a blessed day. Kind of, kind of so their sausages can be seasonal for some time. I really enjoy this. And mm -hmm. after it just goes away and I have a preference for, for a different one. Yeah. And it is part of this, like the whole lust thing. Like I've got a question because like, can a sausage be beautiful? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it can legitimately be beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And here's the question. So, If a man is very attractive, does that make his sausage more attractive too, just because the rest of him is beautiful? No. Yes. Because I, I wonder if it's just a psychological trick, like that because you're very attracted to him, that it makes his sausage more I attractive. I think you can uh, translate this into, for instance, there's a beautiful girl, but her feet aren't. But it's not going to make her feet But more I, beautiful because she is. But I do find that more beautiful girls tend to have more beautiful but downstairs. But that's not what we are talking about. Yeah. Then. So you can can an ugly man have a beautiful sausage? Yes. Yes. Really? Of course. So it's just, you know, certain body parts can be exceptionally pretty mm -hmm. or not. So, but just because overall it's a handsome man, it's not going to make his D, you know, pretty just because he is. If, if, if yeah. Yeah, and it helps to focus on the good part. So like when you want to have a good time with somebody, maybe that person is not perfect, but you can focus on their strength. Mm -hmm. And also when you are um, you are really attracted, we talked about this earlier, when you are really uh, attracted to somebody and you are really turned on, like it doesn't really matter the angle and the shapes. It's yeah. like, I would say for me, it's 80% of if I am already turned on before we even remove any of our clothes. Yeah. That's the most important. And then all the other things, they are just like details. Yeah. And then I guess we can wrap up. Um, okay. Wrap up our sausages. Yeah. So we'll put the sausages away. Yeah. Um, let's put them away. I'm going to be having horrific dreams after <laughs> thinking about how dirty some sausages yeah. are. Um, but I think the general thing is, obviously you don't need to worry too much about your sausage because <laughs> you can't change it. Yeah. But, you know, some girls are going to have, most girls are going to have preferences and the preferences seem to be for thicker, not necessarily longer. Um more brutal looking yeah bigger head well groomed clean 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 yeah so that if you're clean then you're better than like 20 percent of the guys already not 20 like 80 wow better 80 percent. you know if you're clean you get the green light okay there you yes. go just be clean and it, but that goes for everything and no one's gonna reject you for having no. a small sausage no i'm yeah. not gonna reject you no you're just laughing inside yeah you're just laughing inside. <laughs> i'm like no i'm not like that i'm just whatever <laughs> yeah so thank it's, you yeah, it's like yeah I'm, i'm i think we covered sausages really well yeah i think quite well actually Good job, guys. Yay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm so dizzy with like sausage talk. So <laughs> this is the end. Just share it, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> follow all of us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, join your OnlyFans. Join my OnlyFans. Yeah, join everybody's OnlyFans. Just uh, join ev everything that's possible. Yeah. 
and be interactive. Yeah, and if you're worried and about... And wash your D. Yeah. yeah and don't forget you wash your D between likes and share. Yeah, and if you are worried about, <laughs> you know, what your sausage looks like, feel free to send it to us. Yeah, yeah but also we do our only on rating on OnlyFans. So yeah. if you still can decide if you have a nice D or not, we can decide it for you. But yeah, do, even you do you give honest ratings on, on dick ratings or do you just like give everybody no, a great rating? I do honest ratings, yeah. It depends because some people, they go for SPH. It's a small P humiliation. Uh -huh. So then they're looking for degradating stuff. But yeah, generally, yeah. if they don't say that, uh, I'm going to give a positive feedback. Yeah, and if you really want to know, ask for an honest rating. And But they never ask for that. Well, they might now. <laughs> they might now. <laughs> Better to be proud of your misery. Like, is, is my penis normal? Tell me. It sounds like there's no such thing as a normal penis, though. Like, yeah, it it's more about, diverse. like, am I healthy or sick? Yeah. <laughs> Do I stink? <laughs> okay, so thanks again for coming on the podcast and I'm sure you'll be back on soon. Always so. uh, happy and think about these. Thanks for the invitation. It was fun. Yeah, it was. It was a fun one.